Deciding whether your child is ready for a cell phone is just one of many difficult decisions you make as a parent. When it comes to cell phones, parents may feel pressured to allow their child to have their own. Before caving, there are three questions parents will want to ask themselves. Joining me now for Kids First on Fox is Tammy Carter, as usual, CEO of Life Smart Youth. Great to see you. I love this topic. Uh, so what do you say is the best age to give a child a cell phone? Well, good morning, Lindy. Actually, about 60% of parents normally allow a cell phone somewhere between the ages of 8 and 13, with 12 and 13 being the most um, timely age. And it's also kind of that major milestone where you're entering into teenagehood when kids really start to put on the pressure. But before that's done, parents really should consider um, three questions and then give up uh, think about them and then answer them oh my gosh eight years old my son's six that's just crazy to think about all <laughs> right let's start with these three questions parents need to ask um, first one is your child becoming mature responsible and independent let's talk about that one yeah do you trust your child to stay at home to walk to a friend's house um, to be dropped off at a mall or a social outing is your child acting responsible um, with this newfound independence and then a, a cell phone could be a good idea but if your child is still losing things and they're already distracted by tv and computers and not able to stay up on homework household chores or hygiene then adding a cell phone is probably not a good idea mm -hmm. at this time Second question, does your child need a phone? Yeah, if you and your child are not often apart beyond school hours, then a cell phone is probably not a necessity. But if your child is becoming more independent, they're involved in extracurricular activities, spending time you know, with hobbies, could use one for emergencies, then it's probably a good convenience for the family. But if the other thing that I want to add is you don't always have to consider a phone. Um, the cellular enabled smart watches are also probably a good idea for the younger kiddos who may not be quite ready for a phone. Oh, so something like that, you could say just call your parents or 911 or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, final question Does your child understand all the safety issues? This is probably one of the most important things because a phone can be used in more ways than just calling for a ride home, right? So according to Pew Research, 74% of teens aged 12 to 17 report that they definitely use their phones for, for the internet more so than just calling. But the most alarming, 40% of teens admit to texting and driving. So before giving your child a phone, outline, discuss the rules, the expectations, and the consequences. They need to know things like, don't take pictures that identify your address, your license plate numbers. Um, don't get involved in cyberbullying or sexting or texting. So all of those things really need to come to a shared agreement. Besides those three questions, what are some additional things you think parents should think about? Yeah, so the right age to give your kid a phone is really up to parents. Age is not as important as maturity level, ability to follow rules, and your own family's needs. But if I could leave you with one thing, um, and, and if you are thinking of giving your child a phone, model the behavior that you expect. Don't text and drive monitor how much you're using your phone in the car, even at the dinner table, putting it away and having a cutoff time with the family so that you're fully engaged is the best thing that we can model for our kids. Great advice. Tammy Carter, it was a pleasure as always to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We'll see you next month.